Thank you for joining us for The World Now on TVC News. We begin in Abuja, where a three-day visit to Ghana at the instance of the Speaker of the House of Representatives has raised hopes for an end to the harassment and intimidation of Nigerian traders in that country. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adisa reviews the bilateral relationship between both countries, plus the gains of the visit by Femi Bajabiamila and his delegation to Ghana. Nigeria and Ghana are West Africa's two largest economies. Diplomatic relations between the two countries is indeed crucial for the region. But developments over the past years show a not-too-rosy relationship. Whereas Nigeria was Ghana's third most important trade partner in 2010, accounting for about 10% of Ghana's foreign trade, Ghana, the same year, was recorded as Nigeria's ninth largest trade partner, contributing about 1.3% to Nigeria's trade, including 1.9% of exports. Ghana's expulsion of a large number of Nigerians between 1969 and 1970 is still fresh in the minds of those affected. Nigeria retaliated in 1981 and suspended all exports to Ghana. It was a time Ghana relied on Nigeria for about 90% of its exports. This was followed with the expulsion of more than 1.3 million Ghanaians between 1983 and 1985, leading to the popular Ghana must go phrase. And although these wranglings appeared to have died down, concerns over competition among traders and the laws of businesses among Ghanaian traders appear to be raising dust all over again. The Ghanaian government appears not to be helping matters with the determination to enforce a $1 million capital base for foreign traders as enshrined in its Investment Promotion Center Act of 2013. Harassment of Nigerians, seizure of diplomatic premises, demolition of property, the deportation of no fewer than 700 Nigerians in 2019, and the resolve to implement $1 million capital base have now made tempers flare. Protests from Nigerians in and outside Ghana took over, forcing the Nigerian authorities to fire back. The Buhari administration want Ghanaian authorities to end sustained campaign of hostility against Nigerians living in Ghana in the interest of mutually beneficial bilateral relations. Then, the Speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila, decided to lead a delegation of parliament to Ghana in what is described as legislative diplomacy. That intervention seems to be paying off. Yusuf Buba chairs the House Committee on Foreign Affairs and he was on the team to Ghana. He speaks on the essence of the parliament's intervention. And, uh, we met with uh, members of uh, parliament of Ghana. And, uh, we have reached a lot of uh, very positive uh, decisions that have uh, calmed down tensions that we are building up uh, between our traders and uh, the Ghanaian traders. At the end of the three-day visit, the delegation got a commitment for a review of the bone of the contentious capital-based provision from the Ghanaian president, Nana Akufo Addo. He assured the delegation of the possible composition of a joint ministerial committee of ministers which will monitor Ghanaian and Nigerian issues and report to the two presidents. The intervention of the House of Representatives raises hope among many Nigerians living in Ghana as they look forward to some immediate relief from intimidation and harassment in their businesses. They are hopeful that the gains of the visit will materialize them more in weeks to come. Jokeyadza, TVC News. Abuja.